Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Pardon my voice. Too much karaoke last night. So, so there are a bunch of challenges with running IPFS in a workers. Um, we talked through a few of them. One is, um, right now, if you just try to run it in a web worker, you'll end up every page having its own web worker with its own IPFS node, so you don't share any data storage across origins, and you don't share any network connections, which is not great. Um, so the solutions that we kind of settled on uses a bunch of tricks. One is to, for every site to embed sub iframe that is shared, uh, but has a different origin, maybe IPFS.io. And from that iframe, they can all spin up the shared worker. And by that mean, it will be the same instance running IPFS node. And that would allow them all to share data storage and also uh, network connections. However, Safari doesn't have shared workers, so that poses an issue. Uh, so we, just, we discussed that stuff too. And we came to the conclusion that we can use service worker to pretend it's a shared worker in Safari. But there is other challenge associated with that, which is service workers are not really long time lived. They are aggressively being shut down. Um, but since we already have this iframe that is we used to spin up the workers, what we can do, we can make it ping your service worker all the time on Safari to keep it alive. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so another issue that we talked about is the storage limits, which is not necessarily worker related, I guess, but it is an issue that we talked about. Um, there is the limitations that browsers impose how much data you can store per origin. And if all the workers or all the sites share the same storage limits, then it sucks. But you can use sub iframes. So since we have iframes already, we can create iframes within the iframes with the different origins, and then you can avoid some of this. Thanks.